Hey what's up? Ultramag64 here, and today guys I bring you a little slice of the past! Welcome to the Underworld's Cello! Now this is gonna be slightly different from the last video I did, which was way back in I believe 2013. Now this demo has come along uh, quite nicely actually, they've uh, made a vinyl scratch side of things. Uh, for the to demonstrate kind of the demo and stuff like that now uh, Since it's been so long since any of us have ever touched this game I'm gonna actually play a little bit of the original game So that way you guys can kind of get caught up to speed for those of you who are new and don't know what the heck this game is Which is probably one of my favorite pony games of all time So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in Somewhere at the edge of the ever free forest how much longer, Vinyl? My hooves are killing me. Just a bit further. You ready to party down with every pony? Not exactly. I would much rather be composing another piece at home, instead of trudging around in a forest filled with bugs and dangerous creatures. Don't be such a stick in the mud, Octavia. There's plenty of them in that puddle over there. <laughs> you didn't get my joke? Because... Because there's the puddle, and then the... I'm sure you got it. I can't believe that the mayor would be... brash enough to hold a party in the middle of nowhere. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Having a nightmare night party in the middle of the woods sounds awesome! If anything, the wild animals will be stoked that I'm bringing some mad beats for them. Well, it's just that... What? What's up? We've been walking for a while now. And I can't help but wonder, we wouldn't happen to be lost now, would we? Not a chance. The directions on the invitation were super clear. Besides, you are traveling with an expert navigational list. That's not a word, Vinyl. Whoa, I'm getting wicked flashbacks of my old English teacher. You sound just like her. Either way, I can't help but question the path we're taking. I swear I've seen that one mud puddle full of sticks before. Maybe you've been looking in a mirror. <laughs> see, see what I did there? I, I brought back the old joke. Meanwhile, at the other end of the forest. Hey, Caramel. What's swinging? Not much, but uh, aren't we missing a couple of pounds? It's still early. The ladies will be hopping in any time now, I bet. I hope they ain't lost. The force is a mighty big place. Relax. I wrote down the directions and their invitations myself. There's no way they can. What? Dag blast it. Who put you in charge of the invitations? The mayor did? What about it? Do you remember when we went to that one restaurant that one time? Oh, I sure do. A bit stiff for my usual fare, but the waitresses were easy on the eyes. Right. But what I'm saying is... You got up to find the cult room, and it took you 20 minutes to find it. And when you did find it, it took you 20 more minutes to find your way back to the table. What's your point? I'm saying you can't navigate your way out of an empty barn with glowing signs pulling to the exit, let alone write directions on how to get here. Hey, it's cool, buddy. I made sure I was doing it right. Every pony else made you hear it, didn't they? Besides, there's only one mansion at the edge of the forest. They can't miss it. <sighs> I suppose. See? Now let's go mingle. Don't worry. They're fine. See? Here we are. I told you I wouldn't get us lost. Well, I suppose congratulations are in order. You've successfully led us safely to our destination without getting us hopelessly lost or eaten by wild beasts. I have, however, one more concern. And what would that be? Why is the mansion emitting an eerie green glow? Oh, sweet! They must have installed lighting effects! This is gonna be kicking! Vinyl, I hear some sort of spooky noises. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a nightmare night party, after all. It's awful creepy. They really outdid themselves on the decorations, huh? Well, it's been a great night and ever so much fun, and I'm so glad I came, but I think it's time for me to get going. Aw, oh, come on, Tavy. You promised that you were gonna try to have fun and that we'd have a good time. You're not gonna leave me hanging, are you? No, uh, of course not. 
Then open the door and let's get this party started! Oh, why do I always get dragged into these situations? What I wouldn't give for a lovely cup of Earl Grey right now. Alright, so uh, thank you for that, for bearing with me through that badly narrated thing. Apparently there were supposed to be voices in this, but uh, for some reason I'm not sure why, they're just not here anymore. And the text is going way too fast for me to read! Dust between two buds, uh, now, the uh, uh, interesting, said the key to the house is hidden somewhere. We're only invited guests. Uh, you forgot where it is, didn't you? Mmm, common mistake! Could happen to any pony. Any ideas? Uh, I think I can make an educated guess. Alright. Grab the key. Alright, and open the door. There we go. Oh yeah, the mayor said to leave a key under the mat for other invited party animals. So yeah, let's hop on before the inside. Okay, let's put the key. Uh, screw you! Do what I want. Okay, put that. That. There we go. Alright, and move. Okay, but this is unusually empty for a party. What the hey? Alright, ponies, joke's over. Where is every pony? Did we miss the party? Vinyl, let's get out of here. This house gives me the creeps. Hold on, Davey. Let me see if anyone is still here. Badoomp! Wow, Davey! Vinyl, vinyl! You begin to panic as you cry and echo down the pit. The thought of getting out of the house to go find help crosses through your mind. Too late! The door behind you slams shut and will not budge. It's locked. You, you from the inside. No, oh, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Why is this door locked from the inside? Stressing out over the situation, you keep... Tell yourself... Keep tell... Keep telling yourself... Alright, calm down. Vinyl... Vinyl probably fell under the house, so... I don't know, but it shouldn't be that big of a drop. I can find her. You begin to overcome your emotions and take a step forward. Beep, what was that? A sight... Tap sound is heard coming from the west. Could it be a clue to vinyl? All right, so that is where that demo uh, gets started, and we're going to transition now to vinyl's demo. That's not what I'm actually, you know, excited for or anything. I'm just saying. All right. Ow. 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 Ah, forget it. Fixing those glasses is a lost cause. All right, let's talk to this pretty mare over here. Yo, what's eating ya? I've been paying attention to what's going on. You'd know what's going to eat all of us. Which brings up a rather important question. Holdurdius or what? Ah, oh, you poor thing. Your culinary pl palate is probably as empty as my stomach. As a gourmet, it is my duty Nay, my sole purpose in life, to expand the horizons of every pony. And who am I to deny even the undead a sample of what the world of flavors has to offer? Wait, are you... Are you just deciding what I'm marrying yourself with? Correct! If I'm going to die, I'll die basted and with an apple in my mouth. That's kinky. Have you gone completely psycho? Why the hey are you planning to become some pony's entree? We're going to die. We're going to die horrifically and brutally by those monsters. I'm only preparing for the inevitable. I see no way out, do you? We're all going to die. Alone, afraid, and filled with regret. I mean, yeah, that's kind of life in general. You, uh, you want to talk it out? Yes, yes, I do. Um... Who are you? I'm pretty sure... I'm a pretty big deal in Ponyville where it comes to blasting music that can bend the fabric of reality. But if you haven't heard of me, my name's Vinyl Scratch. What's yours? Ha! Huh. I too will stroke my ego. I am Hot Cuisine. If there is a popular dish that you are fond of, chances are that I started its trend. I published tasteful articles in the Philadelphia Aquire or restaurants. I've visited its food and something, something, something. What does, uh, something, something, gosh darn it! 
Can I stop the text from going so fast so I can read it? Coulda fool me, something about something. I was a crack of weight, I'm not fat, I'm just well fed. Anyway, yes, I love to travel. Next to locations provide new food with exper new experiences. In fact, the reason I was in Ponyville was because I wanted to visit a famed chef who moved to Ponyville nearly a decade ago. Okay. I never got the chance to see his culinary skill first hoof. And I impossibly never will since he was declared missing when I asked for his whereabouts. Oh well. As hard as I try, I can't taste at all. Besides, we have bigger things to worry about. Weird, I lived in Ponyville practically all my life, and I didn't know any uh, of any other chefs besides Mr. and Mrs. Cake. I mean, I struggle to remember every face in town that isn't a regular at the dance club, but a fancy schmancy chef living in Ponyville would kind of stick out. Maybe Tavy knows. I'll ask her later. Okay, um... Yeah, that is a good question why you're wearing a bee suit, but, uh... Yeah, let, let, uh, let's let's ask that. What story behind the almost un um, the almost useless bee suit? Ah, so you noticed. Kind of hard not to. I like to cook low calorie desserts on my spare time, and honey makes for an excellent pure sugar substitute. But the price for honey in Ponyville can be quite high since I don't know how to barter well with the aggressive sellers in the market. Wow, well, I actually got that one done in time. I used to set prices in grocery stores, you see. Anyways, imagine my surprise when two fellows came up to me and offered to sell me their spare beekeeper suit. What were their names? Slim Jim and Flan? No, Flim and Flam! Oh, hey, no! Don't tell me you actually bought something from those crooks. At a discounted price and a desperate taste for honey, how can I say no? Even then, I should have suspected something was strange when they said it was half off. When I realized that, I was scammed. They got out in their cart and dashed off, shouting all sales were final. And that leads me to why I'm here in the first place. I made my purchase, so I decided to take a gamble and head off to the woods to find a hive. I found it, but it was in this house's backyard. I knock on the door, and the door opened for me. However, there was no pony inside to greet me. I made my way to the back and got a good look at this horrific sight. The hive was formed in Pony's skull. I was so afraid that I made a mad dash to the door, only to find it was locked. Hours passed, and a hunger started to kick in. I checked the fridge, but the only look and smell told me that they were starting to turn. I didn't want to risk getting sick or so. I took my chances with the skull hive. I gathered the rocks in the yard and made a small fire pit underneath it. Must have gotten too close because it felt it left thre uh, felt threatened enough to do something sick its teeth in me, I guess. Uh, you can see the damage I received in exchange for the jar of honey. Thank goodness I'm not allergic. Octavia isn't so lucky. Hopefully she doesn't do anything I'd probably do. Anyway, I fell in the same trap you fell in here when I was escaping the bees. I've been trapped here ever since. It's probably best almost. A, it's probably been almost a day I've, since I've arrived. Good gravy. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Because it is really, really hard to keep talking to you. Okay, uh, let's go this way. That's a dumb waiter. Cool. Let's go east. Oh, hey, it's a bat horse. Neat. Okay, I'll uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, hey. You almost look like me. That's kind of weird. That's really weird. That is really, really weird. I'm not saying he is me. I'm not saying. I mean, I wouldn't mind being in this game as a cameo or something like that. That'd be fun. Hey, part of the room smells pretty rancid. Like skunk in a bath in a septic tank. Wait, bad smell? Hole in the floor? Foldable cover? You mean I gotta go poop here? Ah, hey, no! I mean, I know I'm wild, but have s I have some standards. I just gotta hold it in until Octavia saves me. Man, what is it with horror games that I play and bathroom stuff? Like good gravy. It's not Corpse Party, it's this game. Make a poop. 
Okay, guessing... Ah, darn! It won't budge, Ninch. Guess I gotta come up with a plan, or wait until Octavia comes to bust me out. Whichever comes first. Okay, so I'm guessing we gotta talk to somebody about something. Let's talk about the bad horse. Yo, what up? Huh, either she isn't in the mood to talk, or she's just straight up ignoring me. Probably both! Maybe there's a way I can get her attention with something she likes. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to find a book. Want to talk about, uh, books? Not gonna answer me, huh? That's okay, I'll make you notice me sooner or later. Notice me, senpai. You might think that I'm annoying, but that's just another word for persistence. Okay, menu. No, I want... Ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now we can... I wonder if maybe... Maybe I need to turn that... Maybe now it's on. Okay, so... Hang on, resume. Let's... Try talking to you. Okay, nope. It is not on. All right. Can I cook it? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. No, I didn't mean to talk. Ah, darn it. Oh, great. Now I'm talking to Vinyl Crate. I really wanted to get to the menu now! Um, what do you want to- some cooking? Something? Something about something? I sincerely hope that you said a flattering idiom and you're not actually asking me to cook something here and now. That's the name of the game! A pony down here wants something good to eat. And you are the only pony in the kitchen right now. Vinyl, you and I both know that when our, we are cooking something, it's a Celestia given miracle that nothing is on fire. Yeah? <laughs> Thanks for the usual vote of confidence, with a hint of sarcasm, but cooking isn't something I can learn in a small amount of time. Sorry, Vinyl, I almost burnt this house down once. I don't want to risk doing it again. Oh, bummer. Thanks, that's okay. I guess I'll ask you again some other time. What? Vinyl, I just gave you a definitive answer. It's not going to change over time. You say that now, but give it a couple minutes. Vinyl, as much as I love to argue about the def definition of insanity with you, I think I heard something I have to go. Okay, bye. Okay, let me change that to text only so I can freaking read! <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's talk to this handsome fellow. Okay, yeah, you're definitely not me, but you look like me, and that's weird. I mean, it's not hard. I'm blonde on blonde. <laughs> Yo, why is it hanging? Is there any reason that you were talking to me? Oh, I don't know. Wait, we've got cupcakes right here! Why are you hungry if we have cupcakes right here? No, I was just being friendly. You have no business with me. And this conversation is over before it even started. Jeez, anti-social much? Fine, be a jerk. What was that? What was what? Your leg just turned black for a second. You're just imagining things. My eyes are working just fine, buddy. What are you trying to hide? What business is that of yours? You're annoying little gnat. Are you annoying little gnat? You should be more worried about the monsters outside of this room than with me. Yeah, well, who's to say that you aren't working with her? I say so. I'm trying to save my own exoskeleton just as much as you are. Yeah, well. Wait. What exoskeleton? Shh. You are a pony. What are you really? Come on, share your story. I won't judge. You sound like you're on the level. If it gets you off my back and any faster, then fine. But you will not even, whis even whisper a word of this, understand? Oh, okay. Uh. Okay, do, do that. So, what isn't it? What is even your deal? Why are you getting so defensive, dude? First of all, you will dress me at my current alias, Muscle Milk. Secondly, the reason why I'm so defensive is because I don't want to cause more panic among our, us prisoners. I'm sure it's bad enough that your ponies are terrified of the zombies outside. They fear, or their fear would only heighten if they knew a changeling is among them. Well, I mean, that, that kind of sums it up. No way, you're a... Shh. 
I thought I told you to keep it down. Uh, m muscles, I'm not going to play dumb just so... Just so can much on our good field. What? Okay. Listen to me. I'm not gonna... I'm not planning to hurt any pony. At the very least, listen to how I've lived my life before you cast judgment. I can assure you that I'm not a threat. Look at me. I'm practically fading away. Alright, I'll give you another chance, but try anything and I promise that your jaw will be introduced to the floor. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. I want to I poke the... No, no. I want to poke the, the cakes. Okay, fine. Oh, here we go. Whoa, these cupcakes look like they have, they have enough sugar to keep them a hyper for days. I'm sure no pony will mind if I have two or three. Apparently not! Don't eat the cupcakes, apparently! Okay! I won't eat the cupcakes! Could you step away for a minute? Personal space, personal space, yeah, personal space is one thing, but good gravy, dude! I'm just warning you, the stuff is toxic. She put something in the food to make you, your body and brain sluggish. That way it's a lot easier for her zombie minions to catch and devour you. Some pony else ate it before he was taken away and he didn't come back alive. Oh, I get it now. You were starving yourself because you didn't want to end up like that guy. No, it's because I'm diabetic and the food will kill me a lot faster than the zombies ever will. But that's beside the point. I'm sorry that I've been ignoring you. I've been trying to think of ways that I can help your friend up above. Ask me anything. Um, okay, what's your story? Let's start with the obvious question. What are, who are you and uh, what's your deal? I'm Puzzle Piece. I'm known in Baltimore as the stallion that can solve any puzzle. I currently have the world record for solving a 5x5 Rubik's Cube in 5.262 seconds. Huh. Okay, that's the point of telling me that. Because it's what brought the Royal Guard to my door one fateful day. There's been many disappearances happening throughout Equestria. Hundreds of ponies have vanished without a trace, and the Royal Guard here stumped, were stumped on where they might be. That's why they decided to enlist some help from me to figure it all out. I thought that it would be fun to do something that's unrelated. The usual jigsaw or sudoku puzzle, so I agreed. I traveled from all around to find clues about these disappearances. But a family in Ponyville had a member missing, and their daughter left behind a note that was sent to her. Following the note's address, I found my way here. And did you find the missing ponies? What do you think? Of course I did. Have you even gotten a glimpse at what's going on around us? They are down here with us, dead but alive. They scrape the walls and crave flesh and blood. I have no idea what this would be the fate of all those missing ponies. Now, every day has become a fight for survival for me. It's either live or long enough to alert some pony outside of this house or die and become one of them. But I don't think I'm going to last any longer, and as long as we are here all in her house, we won't survive to tell the tale. Wow, well, well, that's quite depressing. Wow, major bummer, yeah, just a tad. Um, gotta go? Okay, so let's take a look, see, okay. Okay, no, I don't want to go to the pooper. Okay, so... Let's see, what else can we talk to the bat pony about? Uh, still nothing. Okay. Um... Bats? Just racist comment, bats! <laughs> okay, um... Let's see... Oh, wrong one. I guess we'll keep talking to these guys and see what they say. Alrighty, welcome back! And I've done a lot of talking, and I, I decided to cut that out because it was a lot of talking. But, um, so I've decided to hook up- there's a changeling in the room, uh, Muscle Milk. And he told me his life story, and it was great! It was awesome! So we're gonna try and hook him up with the Bat Pony, because apparently the Bat Pony is an emotional- is full of just all kinds of hype and love. 
So we're gonna we're gonna hook them two up. You've made some pretty dumb ideas in the past. Arranging a date with a changeling for the sole purpose of feeding it might be one of the worst. Come on, Tavy, sure his attitude stinks, but he sounds legit. You know that changelings are adept at deceiving ponies, right, Vinyl? You're being strung along with his lies. Okay, how about this, Octavia? If you do this for me, and we get our out alive, I'll set my alarm clock radio to play classical music instead of my usual wubs in the morning. Is that a promise? A pinky promise, Davy. Well then, I think we need to indirectly arrange it so both ponies are inviting each other's company and prevent them from suspecting you. Once I find a way to create messages to both of them, we will need to deliver it uh, to them without being seen. Sounds good. Just try and make it convincing. Don't screw me over. I only get one shot at this before they get too suspicious. If that changing doesn't live through this, I'll personally just use my turntables to blast you out of bed every morning instead. What? You wouldn't! Wanna bet? I've never seen you this serious, Vital. Okay, tell me all about these two ponies. I'll need it to make this operation run as smoothly as possible. Thanks, Davy. You're a heroine to changeling kind. Don't mention it in public or at all. Just let me know when I should begin. Okay, so we need to learn more about the bat pony. So I need to figure out what she likes. Uh, let me take a look-see. Her face is planted so close to the book that she's practically eating paper. I just snap her back to the real world. Okay, well... Okay, but, but, but what do I say to her? Yo, what up? Uh-huh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, um... Zombies? Oh, hey, look at that! I got her attention! Fantastic! <laughs> that got your attention so about... Oh, gosh! <laughs> She's adorable! Yes, darn bat ponies, I love them. <laughs> you like monsters, too? Yeah, personal space. Yeah, everybody loves me right in my personal space. Oops, sorry. I'm just positively ecstatic to meet another monster enthusiast here. Oh, me and her would get along lovely. Enthusiast, right, sure. Want to talk for a second? You've got my undivided attention. Oh, me and her would have so much to talk about. My name is Kryptonia. What's yours? That's a cute name. That's, a, that's an overall cute horse. I love this horse right here. I want, I want art of this horse. It's cute. Vinyl Scratch. I've seen bat ponies frequently at the nightclubs I perform in, but I haven't seen any pony like you that looks as, uh, geeky. She's adorkable, darn it! And you don't you say mean things about bat waifu that I now own. She's mine! You say that like it's a bad thing. Don't be fooled, though. It'd be easier to list the genres that I don't like. I mean, there's something special about every genre. Big band, swinging, classical, it's so refined. But honestly, I think what I like most is heavy metal. There's just so many... There's just something so primal and animalistic about it. The aggression and the emotion. It reminds me of how deep down, no matter how evolved, we are all just animals. I mean, I can't... I can't say you're wrong. I'm just not a big fan of huge crowds. Er, agoraphobia. Uh, yeah, agoraphobia, you know. Agoraphobia. There we go. There we go. Brain, thank you. Anyway, what sort of music do you like to play during your performances? Well, ponies usually like to think that all I play is dubstep. It's a blast to hear. But I like to play all sorts of modern music. Rock and roll, techno, rap, you name it. That all sounds really cool, but... It's a bit sad that there are ponies out there that generalize and dislike you for something you like. I fear people are always judging me for everything. Change that to ponies! Not just the music, either. I also love collecting transform... Mares? Oh, me and her would have a... 
Oh, lady, you don't even know. Here, let me go get my collection. <laughs> oh, man, I think I just found my match made in freaking bad heaven. But I'd rather not talk about that. I don't figure you as the action figure -y type. It's not weird for an adult to collect toys or anything, right? Of course not! Yeah, I don't sweat that kind of stuff. Ponies like what they like, you know? My personal hobbies aren't the half of it. It's also because I'm fascin my fascination with monsters. Telling ponies that you like to document the mating habits of cupacabras is not a good way to meet friends. Oh, trust me, sweetheart. We would be way more than friends. We would be besties, bro. We would be besties. Like, like, seriously, girl. That's why I'm simply ecstatic to see another music and monster enthusiast like me. You should totally hang out sometime and go study monsters. Uh, sure, but how about bailing this, bailing this place first? Well, duh. Okay, um, how'd you get here? So how'd you get here? Well, while I was writing my book, I noticed that I had- or while- yeah, writing your book, okay. I thought you were said reading, and I was misinterpreted for writing, but okay, fine! I noticed that I had yet to write a, a chapter about the, pa the pack behaviors of Timberwolves in my manuscript. No one to leave- not one to leave out any details, I decided to pack my bag and my supplies and head out to the Everfree Forest to my old stomping grounds. I performed an empty cl I preferred prepared gosh gravy. This is why Magnus can't do visual novels. I prepared an empty clearing in hopes that the Timberwolves would recollect their pact. Re relocate their pact. Um, lacing the clearing with a sample a simple but potent pheromone would attract them to the area. If I stayed downwind from them it would allow me in close enough to Proximity without alerting them to their presence. Good gravy. Why can't you just fly? Just, just fly. Just fly. Just don't, don't do all the science. Just fly. Unfortunately, I tipped, I tripped on a vine, like the other klutz I am, and spilled a dab of the stuff on my clothes. Oh, I bet that went lovely. So when the Timberwolves inevitably traced the smell, they were much more interested in me. Oh, I bet they were. So you used your knowledge of monsters' behavior and tamed them to happily accept belly rubs. If by taming them you mean running away like a little filly, then sure! The worst part was that I was in thick foliage, so I couldn't simply fly away. Running was really my only option. Okay, that makes sense. Imagine my surprise when I found this house in the middle of nowhere. The door was unlocked, so I quickly dashed inside. Locking the door behind me, I would hear the sound of the dogs clawing at the door, the smell still fresh on my clothes. That's when I met the necromancer! Oh yeah, there's a necromancer, I forgot to tell that. Okay, um... Fine, we'll talk more. So, you met the old mayor face to face! Sure did, she even had the, that hood down on her cloak, so I clearly saw her face. Believe it or not, she's actually just a normal pony and didn't mind that I trespassed in her home uninvited. However, the zombie cult that follows her around wasn't anything but normal. When I first saw him, my heart skipped a beat, but that fear was soon turned into into with fas turned into with fascinate. Okay. Yeah, well. It was amazing. She had complete control over him and allowed me to get closer to him without him attacking me. It was in my first undead encounter to say I was in static was an understatement. I immediately opened my book and started to jot down the start of a new chapter dedicated to undead monsters. Once it caught her eye, she asked if she could see it. It was a little... I was a little hesitant to hand it over. I mean, my book is my body. But I eventually gave her the book, and she flipped through the pages. She stopped on one page for quite a long time, as a smile began to form on her face. Suddenly, I heard voices coming from the walls and ghosts materializing out of thin air. They tried their best to spook me, yet I had no fear. If anything, I was more excited to observe such rare phenomena. 
She gave me back my book and said it wouldn't allow me, or said she wouldn't allow me to the cult as a, wait, she wouldn't allow me to the cult, okay, yeah, as a guinea pig for my studies, but offered me a small hoard instead to observe. How could I say no? How could the, how, how could count, I could count the ways, but keep going. <laughs> Leading me into the basement, I followed her until, until we were over a large labyrinth. From above, I noticed that the small hoard was actually one of many planted strate were one of many planted strategically at dead ends in the maze. Good gravy. This is why Magnus is horrible everything, but it's okay. Horses. It's great. When I asked what this was all for, she shouted a command from the across the room to begin the entertainment. Then I saw a stallion with a blondish mane and tail and tan coat running from the entrance. In a panic. Well, I guess I guess I did make it into the game after all. Huzzah! <laughs> Slowly, a very uneasy feeling welled up when I watched the stallion run for his life. I turned to the necromancer and see to and see an evil grin slowly form on her face, whispering for him to make a, a wrong move. He eventually did, and and bad things happened. He was torn apart just like that. His cries of agony combined with the necromancer's laughter echoed in the room. That uneasy feeling came to a head as I screamed out in horror. She turned to me and asked if that was satisfactory for my studies. I told her that of all the monsters that I have documented in my lifetime, she was the worst one of them all. As soon as I had said that, a few zombies tackled me from behind and held me down. I didn't think I ever been as scared in my entire life. But instead of killing me, then and there, she threw me in here and told me to play nice with the rest of the prisoners. Well, that story just gave me a new goal in life. I want her face to have an intimate, rela intimate relationship with my back hooves. Yeah, because that bat waifu. While I like your new newfound appreciation for her demise, we can't just go hoof to hoof with her without pl a plan. She's strong, and she has an army of undead to back her up. I mean, we could try, but I'd rather not finish that thought. That's why I'm just going to formulate a plan to take her down and complete the undead chapter of my book to prevent any possible zombie outbreaks. Sounds tight! How can I help? You have a friend up above, right? See if you can learn anything she can about zombies and ghosts, and then relay the information to me. I'll compare it to my notes and see if the, it's useful information to use against a necromancer or not. Okay, um, I guess I'm ready to help out. I'll be Octavia. Okay, cool. Yo, Tavy! I'm here, Vinyl. What'd you need? One of the ponies down here wants to know what, uh, wants to know about ghosts and zombies and stuff. Oh, well, I suppose that I may have learned one or two things while constantly running for my life? All right, I'll tell you what I know, and listen carefully. Okay, I'm back. Lay whatever questions you got on me. All right, then. First of all, I know that zombies will eat anything, and it's, living, and it's a living creature. But what happens if they can't find anything to eat in a long time? Um... Bloop. Okay, well, I saw that. Uh, the necromancer was committing the, commanding these zombies, so that means that these zombies can be intelligent, right? Um... Sure. Hmm. Well, let's... Let's shift away from zombies for a second. Do the ghosts in the house constantly know what they're doing? Um... Mindlessly drifting. Okay, so do they tie in with the necromancer's grand scheme? Text. It's really hard to read this text. There's a good cup. Sure. So wait, if the zombie and the ghosts are working together, then that means that the necromancer is more than she lets on. What exactly is she? Um. There you go. Well, thanks for your input. It seemed like it was all coming together. 
But in the end, my hypothesis, my battle plan, and my rough draft have holes in its logic. You know me, I like to be completely thorough, but I know you'll, we'll know it next time. Come back to me if your friend learns anything else, okay? Cool, thanks, Patty. Okay, let me talk to TV. TV! 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 Okay, um... Well, I needed to talk to Tavia so I could, uh, you know... Tell her about the bat pony liking monsters. And this would be a match made in heaven! Okay, let me do 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 go through this. Do 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 what? No! I- I need you now! Gosh dang it, kids! You're done, kids, and you're done, rock and roll! Okay, let's talk to you. Ready to eat? Ever as always. Question is, is she ready to cook? I'll go check. You, Tavy, are you ready to cook? Tavy? I'm here, Vinyl. I just came out of the study. What do you need? Want to try cooking? Oh, wow. How many more times are you going to ask me that? A bunch. Thanks for the usual vote of confidence with a hint of... Okay, bummer. That's okay. Okay, so yeah, she's still gonna just say that. Okay. Um, let's go talk to the starving horse. Not you. Uh... Okay, can I look in the bars? No? Okay. No, I don't. I wanna look over there. Okay. Um, east is this way. North. Let's talk to you again. All right, um, about Octavia. All right, not to mention that I feel like a complete uh, dead weight for not being here with, uh, with her to help out. She must feel completely alone up there. As long as she finds the hints I've thrown about the place, she can probably survive. Besides that, she may not be truly alone. You may not believe me when I say th this, when I say this, but when I was up there, I had a voice guiding me around the house. He sounded like an older stallion, and he had this habit of narrating things, like I was in a storybook, but he knew how to make me laugh and keep my thoughts straight. Hey! It's me! I'm the old stallion who's saying words and making you laugh! It was me all along! I'm the story weaver of this tale! <laughs> Oh yeah, Tavy did tell me that there was, uh, she was hearing voices in their head. I thought she was just joking around or going insane or something. So we really did find some pony else to help us. That's very comforting to know. She's in good company. Then when I fell in here, he told me that he would find some pony else to, as brave and smart as I am to help us all. But that's beside the point. She's still in grave danger while she's up there. Not only does she make no worry about the local deadly flora and fauna making their new home in this crumbling old house, she still has the zombie kid to deal with. And even then, she needs to go through the labyrinth to get to where we are. A labyrinth? Like one of those minotaur mazes? Yes, but instead of beefy minotaurs, it's crammed with zombies in every dead end. And the necromancer changes the layout pretty frequently to keep the entertainment value high, as ponies like a scramble to get out. So, in order to help Octavia make it out alive, we need to find a way, uh, find the current floor plans of the maze in the torture room. That's where she likes to keep them. Okay. I've snuck out before using the same duct tape that I found in this house, but you'll need to distract the necromancer long enough to apply it to the door. Why would we need duct tape? Afterwards, it's up to you to find the plans and bring them here for me to review. I'll do- I do it myself, but I need to conserve what little energy I have. Are you up for this? Playing espionage in a zombie-infested celestial forsaken dungeon to steal the plot of an nefarious sorceress? That sounds mind-blowingly awesome. I'm in. 
I'll make sure she pays for what, for all the horse apples that she's putting me in. And poor Octavia through. Good. Let me know when you're ready to get started. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm ready to go. Ready to make an escape. Okay, this is what you're going to do. You're going to call the necromancer over here for a little chat. When she's opened the door, I'll sneak up and hold the latch bolt in place by covering it with duct tape and have it stashed away. Here's the caveat, however. When she's calm, she's very hard to trick. If I apply the tape while she's in this, that state, she'll feel me pushing in the pushing on the door and jig us and the jig is up. You'll need to aggro you'll need to agitate. Agitate, sorry. Again, text is hard to read. I'm sorry. I'm awful. Enough for her to, to lose her cool, but not too much that she either suspects us or leaves. She also won't keep answering the door if you have nothing to say to her. I suspect you can have a couple tries before she flat out ignores your calls. Are you ready? Okay. Cool. Can, wait, can I save? Can I, can I, can I save before we do this? Because I don't know if I have enough smarts. Haha, <laughs> oh geez, that's, uh, that never gets old. Do you actually need anything, or just being your usual knowing self? I'm going to attempt to bug the ever-loving hay out of the pony keeping us hostage down here. Got any dirt on her? You mean information? I might, but why would you uh, do a thing like that? I'm a distraction. I'll say you are. I'm glad that some pony is making use of your talents. Here's what I know about her. Also, be careful. Don't take any unnecessary risks. Okay, ready? I think I can see her. Hey, I got something to say that you might want to hear. This ought to be humorous. Indulge me. Okay, your schemes have pretty big flaw in them. Um, I don't know. Um, bloop. Interesting, considering you don't fully understand the power I have in my hooves. What or who is the flaw? Um, the zombies. My subjects? What about them? Zombies are so cliche, why not? I don't know. Do you think my plans are going to be kind of passing of a some kind of passing trend? I'm going to destroy Ponyville. Who cares about the means? The results matter. Oh. Good try. She's a tough nut to crack, but I don't think you'll be able to shake her with what if scenarios. I actually thought I had something going there. Honestly, I was kind of trying to convince her myself on what could save us from the con from the cesspit of doom and gloom. I know it's tough to accept this, but no pony from outside is going to save us. We need to depend on ourselves to get out and hopefully beat her down. How about you clear your head and try this again later? There's still a chance we can get the guard. We can get her stuff. Yeah. Oh, you can't save. Oh no. Okay, well, we're going to try again. Okay. Ready. Okay, let me get some advice from Octavia again. Oh, wait, is this the same thing? Uh, do you any more dirt? Oh, yeah, no, no, this is different. Uh, captor friend, I couldn't make our plan work with what I had before. Oh, you didn't work hard enough to make it work? It's hard to tell. Okay, here's when I pay attention. See, she doesn't say anything, so I'm like, I'm, I, I don't, I don't know? Okay, ready? Okay, cool. This ought to be humorous. Indulge me. Okay. Um, let's go with that. I assure you that you don't, but go on. Bloop. Correct. However, I do believe that I am already told you 
that I was going to destroy Ponyville before. However, I never said it was for revenge. Tell me more of what you know. Um... Ooh, that's good. I bet it is. Ah, oh, darn. No! Darn! No! I failed! Okay, but wait, I thought we only had two tries. Okay, then wait, what's... Okay, I'll talk to you later. Um... No, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Um... I mean, how else can we do this without trial and error? I mean, we, we can't... Like, like Octavia's not helping. Can't even contact her. So, I mean, and, it, and it's like the, the game doesn't tell you anything about it. So I guess it is just trial and error. I'm gonna go with daughter this time. Okay, so this is our last chance. Okay, do you have any more dirt? But see, we have no way of knowing what she's got. Okay. Know about your plans. Because of revenge. Okay, so it's not her husband. Could it be about her son? How did you know that name? I never mentioned it to anybody in this room. What else do you know? Oh man, he's right there if I can just keep poking. You stole Zebra's collection of scrolls in the hopes of re resurrecting your son but he turned into a zombie instead. Uh, no, no. Oh man, these two are really, really close. Like, we could do, he, you stole the zebra's collection of scrolls in the hopes of resurrecting. But then that wouldn't... Would it ref hmm. <sighs> I'm gonna go with the first one. If you know that much, then then you know that I used to re what I used to resurrect him, right? I'm gonna go with the game title. You even know what I've named it. How did you? Skill, baby! I've got a secret agent, and there's nothing you can't I can't uncover. Yes, I did it! I can't believe that for a second. You told who told you this? It It was Puzzle Piece. He told me everything that he discovered about you while you were searching through your house. Why would I say that? I see. That makes sense. I suppose, fortunately, you uncultured rubes wouldn't know how to play a cello. Regardless, it seems I need to take some precautionary steps to ensure that both of you don't ever get the chance to try and learn. I know you were trying to protect your friend, but you didn't have to throw me under the bus like that. I didn't even know about all the things you told her. Still, I can't believe that worked. So see, it does, it probably does pay off to play the previous demo. Because you probably got all that information beforehand. Although I'll admit, playing the demo three years ago probably wouldn't have helped. <laughs> I don't even think I got that far in the, pr in the first demo. Yeah, baby, I knew we could do it. Up top. Uh, no thanks, you still aren't done yet. We need to find the maze's floor plans. If you're feeling up to it, go out to the door and straight ahead. You'll find a room with a table in it. 
That's where she usually keeps it. Go there, grab that, uh, then come straight back. And do not touch anything else in the room. Also, be careful not to let, get caught. If you do, then all this work will be for naught. Got it. Be careful. Okay, so wait, go straight ahead. Just straight. Okay, here it goes. This includes the end of the demo. There's a special surprise I want to give you for making it this far, but it's just a tad bit spoilery. If you don't want to see it, close the game now. I'll understand. All right, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you'll be a fantastic day if you want to check out the uh, Underworld Cello Vinyl Scratch demo. Then uh, there is a link in the description down below. If you also want to check out the original demo, then there's also a link in the description down below for that. I am going to not end this here, but for those of you who don't want to be spoiled for what's about to happen, then I would suggest turning off the video now. For the rest of you, let's watch! Overall, thank you for waiting for this long and sticking with me to the end of this. It's been a long road ahead. Play. So it's a baby. Uh huh. Oh, that's her son. All right, let's see what happens. Uh oh, something bad about to happen over. Oh, it's a cockatrice. Okay, so how does this have anything to do with Ponyville? I simply ask because I mean, I mean, you'd think she'd be like, "Hey, I'm gonna kill all the cockatrice." Oh, well, that sucks, dude. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad news. Uh-oh. Well, uh, he was dead. He, he died. Ow. Dude, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> that's freaking brutal. It's just... Jeez, dude. Like, wow. Um. Oh man, those poor girls are all. Sc no wonder they're so scared of everything. <laughs> yeah, the horror, the horror. Y y yeah, that's. Yeah, that that's pretty bad. No pulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think he's still. Oh, yeah, I'm just bang my head. I'm gonna bash my head in with this this spear-like rock, and I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Just, it's a flesh wound. It's a simple flesh wound. Oh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe maybe we should take him to Ponyville to see if some pony knows him? What? We can't do that. Ponies might think that we did something to him. But we can't just leave the body in the middle of nowhere. Murderers! Step away from him. Now, you've already done enough. Gosh, dear. My... My dear little boy. You. Where do you three live? We uh, wander very far away from where we live. P probably far enough that you won't do anything too hasty. Wandering, yes! We are wandering nomads, roaming the land in search of a place to call home. Answer me! Ponyville! Ah, yes. Ponyville. I used to reside there myself. I want you to take a moment to reflect on what you have back home. Do you have friends? Family, perhaps? You have somebody to love that dear to you. You might also have hopes and dreams waiting for you. Waiting to become reality in you and a livelihood that is full of blessings. Take the time to appreciate all the good things you have in life. Before I take everything away from you, just like all you ponies who have taken everything from me. I don't know how, and I don't know when, but as long as I still stand, all of you will come to know the same losses I have endured. And I am going to start with Ponyville. 
Okay then. I'm sorry I didn't mean to spill the beans like that. I think it's okay, after all, I would have... After all, I would be very upset after losing my child, too. Are we going to tell somebody about this? I don't know what we should say. What she said was really scary. But it was only out of anger. She's not actually going to make us pay or something we didn't do, right? Maybe we should... O oh, kind and unfortunate youth, thou hast fallen in a most gruesome and tragic matter, all for the sake of appeasing the acceptance of thy mother. Sadly, I cannot grant thee another chance at life for your good intentions. However, nobody's shouts forsake thine dreams in the, he in the he hereafter. Perhaps thou will find and solace during thine stay in Elysium. My sentence has passed. Send the next soul over. Mookie! Okay. Oh. Well, that's it! 